I've been sewing my whole life, but I came to fiber from photography. Around 2005, I began taking the digitally manipulated photographs that I was creating on a screen and sought out ways to output those images in more of an object-based way. Objects that had a bit more permanence, tactility, than the traditional two-dimensional photograph. And I was really interested in speaking to the historical context of fiber work as woman's work. That exploration led me down the path of outputting my pixels through embroidery. Most of the images are appropriated from online sources, such as pornographic websites and fashion websites. By taking the original content out of context, the viewer is able to assess and attach their own judgment of the figures, potentially labeling them sacred or profane, mother or mistress. The work isn't about taking sides between the taboo or the ladylike, but rather materializing a balance through remediation. I do think it's precisely a female gesture to take something taboo or even grotesque and want to make it beautiful. To me, the whole point of the work is to question two often conflicting feminine desires. My work now really is a hybrid between the handmade and the machine made. A lot of choices that I'm making aren't necessarily made in the computer, but are being done by eye in the moment. My name is Alicia Ross, and I am an artist based in Western New York. <laughs>